Jeeves, you're supposed to park 100 yards down from the school. Now everyone's going to see me get out in this Rolls Royce. Hunter, listen, I brought your father and his father before him to school. You needn't be ashamed of who you are. That's easy for you to say. They're not going to make fun of you. Pay them no mind. You get out there and you show those boys who you are. Look! What's that, Hunter? A Rolls Royce from 2004? You shut up, Jason! Your mum's Bentley's on a lease! You're watching Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm being driven around in a 2020 Rolls Royce Phantom. And, and I'm James. And I'm driving him. How's it feel being my driver, James? Uh, actually, it feels amazing. Rolls-Royce call this a magic carpet ride. <laughs> it's a whole new world. It is, and in this metaphor, you're Jasmine. Why am I Jasmine? Because I'm, I'm driving it, I'm Aladdin. And Rolls-Royce say that 85% of phantom buyers actually get behind the wheel of the car. That is weird. Really significant. Yes. Anyway, before we go into what makes this car so special to drive on the road, what we're going to do is we're going to take an old Rolls-Royce phantom from over 10 years ago. And we're going to see just how much Rolls Royce you can get for under $100,000. And we're going to compare it to the new one to see how far they've come. This is the 2020 Rolls Royce Phantom 8. A Rolls-Royce Phantom is the very essence of peak craftsmanship. It's the embodiment of class and the last word in resplendent luxury. It is without rival. In fact, perhaps its biggest enemy is itself. Because you need to consider the fact that for approximately half a million dollars less, you can get one of these in the used market. and it is still a yacht that proudly carries the spirit of ecstasy at its bow. The cheapest available Phantoms range from about 60 to 80K, depending on mileage. So we stopped at Radical Auto in Burbank, California to test drive this 2004 Rolls-Royce Phantom 7. So after navigating through their rather opulent selection of vehicles, we grabbed our Phantoms and headed for the California Hills. And, in order to truly appreciate why the Phantom stands alone on the podium, we want to take a look at the features that makes this 2020 so unique, and the, um, the things that make it not so unique, <coughs> BMW. And to see if the older one even comes close, because the new one is pretty mind-blowing. And if you can almost achieve that for a tenth of the price, well then that's mighty tempting. So we parked the new Phantom next to its counterpart, to discuss. And if you're new to Throttle House, we do car reviews, <laughs> track tests, no! and quite a lot of messing about. So subscribe, hit the bell. Oh, okay. Beautiful. And these clothes all by themselves. All right, let's talk about the styling. You're not going to do this to me. I, kn I knew you were going to do this. I shouldn't have worn this tie. I look like bloody Gryffindor. Okay, fine. Oh, well, thank you. Sir, please. Just step out. Yeah. <clears throat> there we go. It's the uh, suicide doors, right? Actually, Rolls-Royce called them coach doors. Oh yeah, they changed the name. Yeah, they didn't want YouTubers to take them to a forest to film them. Right. Um, okay, so let's talk about the new one because, well, first of all, between these two, this many years apart. I don't think you could blame anyone for thinking they're both new. It's unbelievable. 16 years separates these cars. 16 years. There's, if you look at like BMW's 16 years in difference, it's hilarious. Yeah. This obviously is a, is a design that they're not interested in Also changing owned for, by BMW though. Yeah, that's a different story. But yeah, it's a, such a grand design. These it, lights are great. Yeah, they do. They've modernized it, they kind say, of. They say Rolls Royce. We've lost right the there. sharp, you can see there's no sharp There's no sharp there. corner here, yeah. We it's still have the spirit there. of ecstasy. Yes. Which you're not allowed to steal, because if you no. do, Rolls-Royce takes it from you. Okay. This one does the same thing, actually. But I'm, I'm actually like, genuinely uh, upset about it. I feel like a sense of loss. <laughs> <laughs> I really <laughs> like seeing that there. Aww. We'll never see it again. Um, you can customize the Spirit of Ecstasy, too. Eh? This is just the standard one. No, well, it is the standard one, but yeah. it also has the up light. So it lights yes, up so at it night. Yes, it lights up at which night. Which is four and a half grand. Speaking <laughs> of things that are expensive, how much is this satin? I'll call it a bonnet. This, is, this will be the it one time I concede and call it a bonnet. It's a bonnet. 
Seven and a half thousand US dollars. Seven and a half thousand US yeah, dollars. But I think it complements the Scarlet Red perfectly. Scarlet Red? Scarlet. Scarlet. S C A L A. Okay. Because we're in LA. Right. Uh, this is a lovely duo to stand with. It's so imposing, villainous. Yeah. Driving this in convoy, we owned LA. <laughs> this is so cool. For one brief Everyone moment was just in our like, lives. What is going on? All right, let's talk about this one actually, because. I th these both look so fantastic. Yeah, well, the Phantom is the beast in the Rolls Royce range. This yes. one has some custom 24 inch wheels. They're massive, it's hilarious. Yeah. I would probably stay with the Rolls Royce. I would Rolls stay with Royce the stock wheels. ones, but yeah. these are very neat. Um, let's go to the all the way to the back because it is quite a walk. Yeah, well, the long wheelbase is 19 and a half feet. Yes. But this yes. is the short wheelbase. God, looking at the back of these, they have not changed that much. No. We got some chrome exhaust surrounds on this that that doesn't have. Right. But 16 years separates these two cars. 16 years ago, you couldn't even grow a beard. Two years ago, you couldn't even grow a beard. That's normal. <laughs> All right, let's talk about these wheels. These have the uh, Rolls-Royce center cap, which stays upright when you're rolling. And it looks stunning. It's and so These cool. are the 22 inches. These are part of the Phantom package, which is 35,000 US dollars. There's some other things, we'll get to them in a minute. Yeah, oh, also these tires are specially designed in conjunction with Rolls-Royce, and they have like insulation in them to quiet down the ride even I can more. believe that. It's, it's wonderful. It is insanely quiet. Should we do the interiors? That's just the best thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay, ready, set, go. Yours is way closer in. Ah, uh, that just better hit things. But yes, there is a button here okay. and it closes your doors. It's in the rear too as well. Okay, so the inside of a Rolls Royce is like nothing else on earth. It's incredible. I challenge you to find a material in this car that is not cow, sheep, chrome, wood. It, you cannot, literally down to the seat rails are chromed. Well, the first thing you feel yes. is the stuff under your feet. It's Three and a half inches of lamb's wool. It's lamb's wool. 20 lambs died for this rug. James, you don't have to kill lambs to get wool. You, you shear them. No, these ones, these ones are martyred. <laughs> They're just wrong, okay. yeah. All right, anyway. Color schemes. Let's let's talk about that because this has an amazing color scheme. Yeah, this is braver than I would expect. I, when I've yeah. seen Rolls Royces, which is rare, yeah. they're all black and chrome. I feel like people are afraid to do something crazy. This has white with red piping, and then we've got the wood, and we've got red, and then this blue, which is almost black. It's and then the white headliner. Yes, almost black, but against black. Yes. Yeah. Actually, right? if you see the those difference in the between... fashion world, know that that's a faux pas. Oh, it's a clash. Blue and black. Mm, interesting. It, it honestly looks almost like black though in this in certain types of light. Okay, there are so many options inside of a Rolls Royce, and the costs are hilarious. Usually, we memorize some stuff and, and tell you, but I we couldn't. There's too many, so no. we're gonna pull up the spec sheet. Let's. You haven't actually looked at it yet. Give me, give me this. You're, we're gonna play guess the cost of the option. Okay. Okay. Ready? Can I just say though, this gallery. This is called the gallery. Yes. And it's beautiful. The, oh, the gallery. It's yes. a custom piece of artwork in every Phantom with a glass pane in front. Yep. And. This one looks like a fancy New York hotel room. It, that's exactly the way you describe it. Right. Also, we have our fancy clock. But it not, doesn't It doesn't have a brand on it. It's not branded. No, it could have been a Breitling or something. I would have taken a Patek Philippe. A Patek Philippe? Yeah, do you know what that is? Yeah, it's the guy that saved Katniss Everdeen in The Hunger Games. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're hopeless. I know, that's Peter. Peter, yeah. Patek, Peter Philippe. However, that clock is a bespoke option. You ready? Wait, someone's paid extra for a non-branded clock? Wait, it's a Rolls-Royce clock. So I guess that's a, that's Allegedly. a good thing. Allegedly. Just, just the placement. The okay, guess how much that clock is. Um, uh, 1,727. $6,775 US. <laughs> that's fine blowing. <laughs> okay. You know how many Con clocks you can get for that? Yeah, a lot of clocks. Um, all right, contrasting stitching and the piping on the seats. Go. How much is that? Six thousand. You're ooh, four thousand. That's a steal. Bargain. Um, all right, moving down here really quickly. We have these w ways to adjust some heat and cooling. Yeah, there's no temperature in here. All right. No, it's just red or blue. Rolls Royce doesn't get involved in the Celsius versus Fahrenheit game. <laughs> red and blue. And you can adjust the fan to off, soft, medium, high, or max. However. However, soft isn't that soft. Soft actually isn't very the soft. The car is so silent, even cruising on the highway, that in soft mode, any fan it's you the hear. loudest thing in the car. It literally is. Yeah. Um, okay, this is how you adjust the uh, BMW's uh, version of iDrive system that you can get. I can actually raise and lower my spirit of ecstasy. Why does that sound a bit dirty? Oh, this is basically an infotainment. It's nothing super fancy. It does go up and down. 
but I'll be damned if we can figure out how to actually yeah, make it go up and down. Yeah, sometimes it's down, sometimes it's up. We don't know. If you know, yeah. let us know, because we can't figure it out. And this steering wheel, colored navy blue, is $1,700. Speaking of the steering wheel, let's talk about this. I love it. It's nice. It's still thin, right? Yes, they, they it wanted is. them to be thin. We'll talk about the old one in a second, because yep. that's very thin. Yeah. The, the digital gauge cluster. Well, it's only, it's only half digital. It's got like, it, the classic style gauges, but they are digital. But there's still physical chrome circles. So it's a throwback. Yes. I think it's pretty classy. I think it's amazing. Yeah. Here, this is one of my favorite things. The inside of this console is trimmed in leather. Hand stitched, by the way, as everything is. That's hilarious. They didn't just carpet it. It is wonderful. And there's a space for your phone. There's a space for your phone. One, one thing you have forgotten about, because oh, okay. it's beautiful California day, is yes. there's a starry night above us. Oh, yeah, that's right. Right, which you can adjust. You can to. see it in the day, too, actually. You can see it in the day. Yep. There it is. There it is. And at nighttime, it's incredibly bright. In fact, when you turn on your light, as though yep. in a normal car, it's like a lantern. This glows, and then your section of the starry night turns oh, on. Your night sky gets a little yep. bit brighter. Two craftsmen. 17 hours to place these all individually by hand. They are hand stitched into yeah. the headliner. If you do this for a living, what do you say? What's your job title? Oh, you could pick up so many women with this. What? I put the stars in the sky. They can say I'll that name. That is incredible, actually. Yeah, they yeah. can say I'll name a star for you. Yeah. Oh. And it's just one little LED. <laughs> all right, let's go to the back seat because that's really where the uh, that's where the action happens. <sighs> go. Right. Race. Oh. Oh. What's up? Victory that sucks. All right, inside these doors, there are two Rolls Royce umbrellas. And if you follow us on Instagram, you'll have seen James dancing in celebration. Yeah, that was embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> it was your idea. Okay, this is obviously insane. It's not even the long wheelbase. No, and there's lots of room. There is lots of room. And if you want your feet to come up a little bit, it. <laughs> That's the silliest way of describing it. That's all it does. That's though. all it does. It That's just brings it your feet up slightly. Okay. There's a mechanism. Mm -hmm. Do you know how much the mechanism costs? No, I don't remember even how to use it. I'm going to put up the spec sheet again, and it costs five thousand seven hundred and fifty US dollars. Okay, some of the options in this car make sense, and I would spend the money were I to have the money. This is not one of those situations. No. Incredibly comfortable. We have our own iDrive here if we want to yes. operate things. And if I press my R screen, can I press my R screen too? There you go. Yours is L oh. screen, you're on the left. And you get these veneer tables with the TVs that come out. The yes. tables are part of the veneer package, which is like almost 4,000 US as well. Yep. And I can move, the because I'm in this chair, I can move the passenger chair. Yes, You can't course. do anything from there. No. And these headrests have cushions. They have full on pillows. They're amazing. Um, okay, so first of all, this is incredibly comfortable. That's very obvious. We have a little flip down oh, here. Also, the leather is so soft. Well, it's Rolls Royce leather. So yes. it is an incredibly high-end leather. The best leather that you can get for a car is here. A lot of cows. Fridge. We have a fridge, as you do. The little spots here to hold in your, your expensive champagne flutes. Yeah, of the good course. news is the fridge is actually free. Really now? No, it's five thousand. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> this right here is a leather stitched area well, with kind of like a. You know it. A oh, silver yeah. spoon. <laughs> I get it here. Uh, okay. Um, I mean, other than that, the appreciation for the interior here just comes from the materials and the way that it looks. Yeah. It's everything hard for is us soft. to show you what that is, but it, you just gotta trust us that everything feels so expensive. When you press on the leather, there's like quite a long. Throw, yeah. throw of throw of leather of leather yeah it's plush everything is padded and soft and wonderful all right i gotta see what happened 16 years ago 16 years ago yeah all right well let's start in the uh, the front seat of that one okay yeah those aren't powered no but they're lighter they're lighter also they have like a mechanical handle that clicks oh right? the steering wheel is so thin it's so cool it's i think this is just this i wish that that one was this thin Really? Yes. It's fine. It's like a I classic like... Rolls Royce. My it's biggest so upset cool. about the steering wheel is that the RR doesn't stay upright like the wheels do on the outside. Are you going to be okay? I just, it you would make, have been so cool. The day? How cool would that have been? I suppose it would have been cool, yeah. Okay, so here we are in a Phantom. Can I, can I? It's fun. It feels like someone's squeezing <laughs> the horn. It actually says Phantom here. That's really cool. So the person that specced this originally specced black on black on black. Yes. Right. You can get. You could have got colors in this era. No obviously. imagination. Well, I think this is kind of sleek. It's it's well, pretty it's more, boss. It's, it's more gangster. It is definitely right? that. This button you press, 
That hides away. Oh, there's a clock. Oh, that one says that RR. One says, that one's branded Rolls Royce. Now I know that's a Rolls Royce. Yep. How am I supposed to know that that one's a Rolls Royce? <laughs> uh, so this is a hilariously old looking infotainment system. Yes, it is. The, yes, the we'll infotainment just... is what will date the worst. Even that one in 10 years. Yeah, I weird. agree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you can see the same things, right? The, the aircon is blue and red. We, we have we have off low, medium, high, though, for the instead of off soft, medium, Well, because this one's at least not lying. That's right. right? It's, yeah, it's we have we low. have the plush wool. We do. And yes. it, it looks like a gorilla's hand, this stuff. It's yeah, for your, for your heel. Yeah. That's right, yeah. yeah. And then we have ways of moving things. It's this. That's moving my mirror over here. Yeah, but it's that it's that thing everywhere. It's these joy, yes. joysticks. Oh, that's right, yeah. You feel like you're at an arcade. The, no, yeah. no ventilated seats. No, they no, didn't have just them back smooth then. leather. No, this is still, it's still obviously very, very nice. Right. But I will tell you that they have come a long way. Yes. What's this, right? Yeah. Oh, that's, that? a, that's a cup holders. Oh, I see. But you know what? It looks like it. Wouldn't you know it? That fits perfectly. It's the future. Wow. 2004 they, they, Rolls Royce, they knew. They knew. What, what else did you know? 10. What else did you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, should we look at the back seat? Yes. Let's do it. Oh, you don't need to do that. Because even 16 years ago. No way. Those are faster. Fast. Fast. Faster. Very fast. And it's the same button. It is the same button. That is crazy. Yeah. Oh, it's wow. spacious. These seats are very, very comfortable. No soft cushion on the back there. No soft cushion. No, but like ergonomically. But there is something older feeling mm -hmm. about the leather. I guess it's been 16 years. I suppose. But it... given that this is one of the cheapest Phantoms in North America, <laughs> yeah, I, I will give it All things pass. considered, right? Yeah, so like for a fraction of the price, we are still getting an ashtray. Yeah, we both got. They expect you to smoke a lot. Oh, quite a lot. And, yeah. In fact, well, you can get smokers yeah. packages. It's yeah. An extra amount. We right? also get TVs in here. We do. And then I'll just open this little door <laughs> and push this. Oh wow! See, that's that, not quite modern chrome right there. No, it's not. That's not the newest feeling part of this interior. That's no. for sure. We do get our own control panel here, though. Yep, you do. And our own also iDrive feeling thing. What does the rest of the stuff do, though? Okay, so we got oh, this push down here. Put that in the knees, and then, yeah. Wow, that came out. Okay. Yeah, that got excited. What is, oh, this is so I can adjust the volume. Put That's what? the radio. Looks like a phone pad. Yeah. It's pretty okay. hilarious. What goes in here? Oh, it's the, it's the L piece from te Tetris. Oh, it just fits right there. Yeah, yeah it fit, that thing always fits. <laughs> All, right. All right. Yeah, we've got more storage back here. Oh, that's nicely trimmed. That's like suede all the way down. But it's in there. it's old suede. But it's nice. It's suede old suede. Still. It's still. Do we have good. massaging seats? There's massaging seats in that. Of course there is. It, on that, all of the seats. And does that have massaging seats? I don't believe so. I think we sacrifice massaging seats. Oh, that's a thing. We got more space here. There's no cooler in this one. I'm sure you could have optioned a cooler in the era. Yeah. But no this, no starry night. No starry night. That is a new feature. How will I know if it's nighttime? Um, we can't. We can't know. Um. Okay. So. For the money, this is very, very nice. Yeah, what's around this price range? Like 80 grand, you get you can't even get an S-Class for that price. No. And you can get a Rolls Royce Phantom. You can get a Rolls Royce the Phantom. beast, the monster. The ultimate in luxury, in passenger luxury. I want to see how this drives. You want to drive this one first? Yes. Let's do it. Alright. Alright. The 2004 Rolls Royce Phantom. I'm driving it. <laughs> yeah, finally I get to relax That's and right. sit inside. So this isn't actually that slow, right? No. Both, both cars share a 6.75 litre V12. <laughs> All right, but this has like 453 horsepower and 531 pound-feet of torque. So while those numbers are pretty big, that's actually 100 less horsepower and 100 less pound-feet of torque than the new one. Is it less or fewer? Fewer. It's fewer pound-feet? Fewer. No, I don't like that. In the English language, is stupid. <laughs> you know what's not stupid, though? Being in the back of a Rolls Royce and dropping everything. Did you do another poo? I did a poo. <laughs> How's it driving? It is very, very smooth. Are right, you ready? I'm ready. The transmission took a second to figure out what I wanted. Yeah, well, this is the, this is the six speed. Yes. From the BMW 7 Series of yesteryear correct. now. Correct. It is incredibly smooth to drive, but it does feel closer towards the age that it is. Yes, it's not quite as smooth. No. Seeing in the back here, we're going to have to drive the other one again, but it doesn't 
it doesn't feel like it wafts as much Not as I would quite. want it to. It is very, very nice though. It's dark in here though. Yes, that's the choice I, of I dark like the leather. I like the white leather. The white definitely brightens yeah. the day. Obviously yeah. the upkeep is tougher. I wish I could get a rev gauge, because you don't have one. I do not. That I should have, be something that a passenger gets. I have a power reserve gauge. All that does is just tells me how much my foot is down and how much is left available to deliver if needed. But it goes anti-clockwise. It goes down from 100%. Yeah. These seats are so comfortable. Yeah, and I, <laughs> I love that even while I'm reclined, yes. I can see the spirit of ecstasy. Yes, it is It is a really special thing to see that out floating in front. Right, like some, I feel sorry for some people because they have to look at a Maybach symbol, <laughs> right? <laughs> Getting bullied. <laughs> yeah. So it, this is a very rough road. We've picked quite a rough road to test this on. Not rough reason. as in like criminals. No. Right? Because no, when no. you leave, for Canadians, when you leave Canada, <laughs> Everything you feel, feels scary. You feel unsafe. <laughs> uh, no, this is, uh, it is absorbing all of the bumps very well. I will say that there are some vibrations coming through. Right, and there's tire noise. There is tire noise, yes. Despite the windows being double glazed. Mm-hmm. Oh, why does that make me want a donut? I will say that there's something very old fashioned about this one that the new one does not quite have. In a, in a good way? In a good way, yeah. This feels, like the steering wheel is so hilariously skinny and everything is very vertical. Don't upright. fat shame the new one. <laughs> <laughs> 2019. Uh, yeah. The seatbelt's really locked me in. <laughs> like, I don't know. The seatbelt will not release me. What do you? It, it won't want, release. It just wants you to be safe. I'm in Rolls Royce jail. <laughs> it's nice. I'm sure it's how Scandinavian jails like, but I, <laughs> I don't like it. Get TVs and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you do. It doesn't. No, it doesn't feel like a classic car. We actually did drive some classic cars with Volkswagen this week, and those felt like classic cars. This still feels modern, but at the same time captures kind of a vintage vibe from where I'm sitting. All right, well, let's go drive the new one. All right. All right, in the new one. This is newer and it's faster. It is faster. <laughs> I think we did a burnout, James. <laughs> you can't hear anything in this. No, you can't. It's so unbelievably insulated. But it is fast. This is really torquey, and it, it's because of that twin turbocharged V12. Yep. It hits peak torque at 1700 RPM. That's crazy. You can feel it. It's immediate and smooth. But the throttle is a long throw, right? Yeah, it doesn't want you to do anything quickly. No, every input is smooth, and I don't mind that. Except the brakes, I wouldn't mind if they felt a bit sharper. Well, yeah. It does have to slow down the mass of two of Jupiter's moons. Yeah, well, this thing weighs 5,600 pounds. Yes, which seems like a lot until you take into account the, the Polestar 1 that we just drove, which is a sports car. Made of carbon made fiber. Made of carbon fiber. It doesn't really have rear seats. Only weighs 400 pounds less than this. So well done, Rolls-Royce. Well done, Rolls-Royce. Because this has all the bells and whistles, and it's killed many lambs. Right? James, the lambs don't die. <laughs> These ones do. No, they don't. <laughs> anyway, this has four-wheel steering, unlike the old one. That's new, yes. Right, and the steering itself is much lighter, much more electronic. Which is good in this case. Yes, I want my hand held. Yes. Yeah, I don't need feedback. It's not a Lotus. No, and it has funky technology, right? Yes, it has a system up front that reads the, the road ahead using radar exactly. and cameras and it adjusts the air suspension actively and the sway bars act on the fly to make sure that the ride is as smooth as possible. Does it have a funky name? Of course it does. Oh it does? Yes. It's called the flag bearer. The flag bearer? <laughs> yeah. God I'm just picturing like Templon, like Knights of Sidonia. Don't worry Sidonia? so I have this. Yeah. <laughs> Sacramento? The Knights of Sacramento? The Knights of Sacramento. <laughs> okay. They love avocados. Yes. And like, it's important to understand, with, even with the old Rolls Royce, but this one especially, it is so different to- Anything. The S-Classes. Anything. The, every, everything. Like, the S-Class and the A8 and the 7 Series, they are unbelievable cars, and they're smooth and quiet and fast. But this is simply on another level of smoothness. You described it best, actually. You said that it's like being on a calm lake in a boat up on plane. Yeah, it's unbelievably smooth. And if you have the air conditioning turned off, 
because soft is a lie, as we've said. Yeah, it's not that, it's not that quiet. It is so quiet. You can drive, this is like being in Double a soft glass. padded room. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But then the other one, the old one's quiet. It is unbelievably I think, quiet. I think the ride is actually where these differ the least. Obviously that one feels a little bit older. You can't get away from the fact that this has all of the cutting edge stuff. No, and what's amazing about this is even though it's way better than an S-Class and a 7 Series and an A8, and dare I say a G90, <laughs> It doesn't cost any more. No. Oh no, wait, no, no, it's, it's, yeah. eight, it's eight times the price. No, eight, yeah. time, eight, eight times the price, yeah. All right, we're gonna do something people don't do in a Phantom. We're gonna rip some California hills and <laughs> maybe end Throttle House because... Let's not stuff a car that's worth more. Wow, wow. the grip. That's actually really impressive. I can't, how are we possibly going this quickly? It loses a bit of composure with the body roll and stuff. I can feel. The oh rear. my god. This is rear wheel drive and I can feel the rear kind of going. This is unbelievable that it can do this. That's mad. And oh I got the spirit god. of ecstasy leading the way. Okay, so in conclusion, yes. the old one is still very much a Rolls Royce. Definitely Phantom. still a Rolls Royce. And if you pretend the word reliability doesn't exist, <laughs> it's a great option. It's a great option. <laughs> Not that that one's let us down today. No. But it would be foolish to ignore a 2004 Rolls-Royce Phantom's maintenance costs. Also, the big difference is that if you want to customize a Rolls-Royce, you obviously, and that's the whole idea with these, coach built, you kind of have to buy a new one. And the darkness of the other one would not be how I would customize it. I think it. it's pretty cool. This much more than the old one, this is a weird way to conclude this. Okay. But it makes me want to go and ask Morgan Freeman for equipment for spelunking in caves. <laughs> So to conclude, the brand new Phantom is definitely better in every single way. Rolls has created pretty much the best vehicle in the world. It's an insulated floating cloud of butter smooth V12 comfort bathed in the light of a thousand stars. But what we found is that you can indeed get yourself a real Rolls Royce Phantom for under $100,000. And just in case you weren't trying to fly under the radar in your 19 foot long land yacht, the good news is, from the outside, the uninitiated won't be able to tell the bloody difference. Mm -hmm.